All right, so for the first Patreon submitted replay, we have a PvP from the old season submitted by Vendethiel, whose name I never said out loud except for literally right then, so I hope I actually said it properly. And he's going against Tox. Uh, and he's can rushing. And he did want this to be, uh, I don't think he was looking for analysis per se, however, we do have some cannons coming up here, and I, th I think that, I think there's a, a good reason for why he didn't want this to be serious in that case. Uh, Tox here has gotten quite the late pylon though, so I'm curious to see what he's planning on doing with that. First pylon does go up, he doesn't really wall it, it, wall it in until just now, there we go, he's got the three. He's got his second probe down here as well. Only four probes have been pulled so far. We have the double gateway and forge response out of Tox. I don't know what league this is, by the way. And we have another... Oh, we have a pylon in Ven's base as well. Alrighty then. So we're going to have someone cannon rushing the cannon rusher. Vend is uh, being very patient with his, there we go, with his third cannon. I'm curious if he's going to ever realize that there's a pylon in his own base right here. Tox also not really electing to wall off his main here to further deny any vision or anything like that. He's just kind of sitting there. And uh, Vend is actually behind in the the high ground cannon timer this cannon cannot reach this top one so this one is this cannon from tox is going to kill this cannon of vend and that one's not going to get up either this guy needs to target target the bottom one please tox please i okay that works i guess he loses the probe on the other side of the map this pylon is going to go down actually wait a minute <laughs> But it gets reinforced by the tasteless pylon right behind it, so we're good. And this is still going to get denied, I guess. Until now, when this pylon gets up. But this pylon, or this cannon gets up as well. So, double cannon going against this one. <laughs> oh man, this is something. Another cannon comes up. This is literally just a cannon war. We're watching, t we're watching Tower Wars IRL. And it seems like Ven's kind of lost his, his high ground here. I really should have asked Ven what league this was before loading into this. Something tells me it, it's like gold or something like that, but I don't want to like undermine his skill if he's like diamond or some shit. <laughs> That'd be rude. So even though Ven has completely lost the cannon rush, he's still attempting to reinforce it. Only just now finally getting a gas with no gateway to actually do anything with this gas though. Meanwhile, Tox already has gateways out, but doesn't have gas to continue his, his tech here. He's finally getting a cyber without getting any of the geysers though. So we have like reverse games going on here. We have someone with cyber tech not getting gas and someone without even gateway tech getting gas. Another cannon goes down because Ben doesn't really know what else to spend his money on at this point. So with the Cyber Inner score nearly finished, we're now just finally going to start building our assimilators here out of Tox. Very, very good timing out of him. He's clicking on the cannon. He really wants to make sure that that is indeed another cannon being made there. Let's take a look at the APM for a moment. Alright, we've done that. See, like, this pylon being here would have been an excellent opportunity for Tox to have just rushed Warp Gate really fast and just done it, like, Wings of Liberty style, Korean 4 Gate or some shit. Uh, but, no, that that was not really priority out of him, it seemed like. It seemed like he really wanted to make sure he could have the possibility to make Warp Gate or Stalkers, but not actually the resources to do so. <laughs> Hmm. 
Ben realizing that five cannons is actually the perfect number and not six in this failed cannon rush game. He could very easily be expanding at this point as well, knowing that he has completely contained the opponent into his own base. And that there's no way for anything to get through here. But instead he feels that a robotics facility and a Stargate at the same time is much more valuable than potentially getting ahead in, of his opponent economically. Meanwhile, we have extra gates being made out of Tox, who still has not started his warp gate research, and also going for the robotics facility. So we have a very uh, clear game plan out of our friendly neighborhood Tox here going for, you know, the the early warp. Actually, you know, he's probably just so tunneled on these cannon. Oh, he's going to actually try to run by. Gets by with both of his stalkers magically. And I imagine a, a mortal is just going to be pumped out of here just so he can kill these cannons. That's probably the only thing on Tox's mind right now. <clears throat> so we have the immortal being croned out by Vend, and then I imagine a, a void ray, or something, out of this, out of this thing here, at some point in time, maybe, or he's just going to float 300 minerals. So the immortal timing is absolutely perfect very crisp and clean decision making at event here reading the opponent so well that his immortal would be coming out immediately when the two stalker run by comes out at seven minutes into the game very excellently played right there talk still does not have warp gate getting shield batteries defensively against the five cannons that are immobile and out of range completely of anything of his There's the Void right now, finally, out of Vend. Getting another reinforcement pile in as well, just in case this eventually does get broken, which, at the moment, it really doesn't seem like it will. Instead of attacking with all of his units, Tox just really wants to make Vend feel like he has some sort of an opportunity, and really is only going to attack with one of his. Just now, finally, thinking that he might be wasting a little bit too much time, losing a couple stalkers in the process, but... He will eventually clean this up. Oh, even micring the Immortal back after all of the cannons have died. Very clean, crisp play out of our friendly neighborhood talks here. I'm not quite sure what this is doing. So... Vend has finally expanded and has that all up and whatnot. However, he still doesn't really have too much money to go to his name. I'm really not sure what the plan for this one was, to be honest with you. Some defensive shield batteries going down. I do like that play. Definitely like it a lot. We have not seen our opponent going into the expansion yet, so... Oh, wow, finally, we have Warp Gate being researched. Wonderful. Looks like Tox is going to expand anyway, but... It was smart by Ven to at least realize that Tox hadn't expanded for so long, so it kind of would make sense that he might eventually try to attack. However... However... Tox isn't doing that. Long distance mining is his preferred path. And then into the eventual counter attack. So, you know, we just wanted to make sure g give Vend a little bit of time. We don't want to we don't want to make him feel a little too pressured here. You know, we wanted to take our time clearing out the cannons. We want you know, after that was done, you know, we like, you know, let's let's not pressure him a little bit. Let's just kind of give him a chance here. I know we 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 held that cannon rush super well. I don't want to beat him too fast here. So, we're going to walk across the map eventually at this point while long distance mining into our natural that is three quarters of the way done and then we're going to a move into a bunch of cannon or shield batteries void rays and immortals with that war prism to help back it up uh and then we're going to use our recall to get on out of there so very very good pressure play out of there really forced a lot of units out of Ven that he didn't want to make otherwise uh you know no drones being made uh oh wait this is a protoss so um 
Yeah, that was really bad at its hawks, I'll be honest with you. Not really sure what he was going on going with that one, especially without a war prism or anything like that. So I've got nothing at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. The double Stargate transition out of Tox. Whew. We're about to see some spicy memes out of this one. I'm really curious if it's gonna like what it's gonna be. If he realized that it's void rays and he's like, well, I have to start making void rays now at double the speed, or if it's gonna be oracles to be an absolute meme. Yep, it's gonna be void rays. I feel like I'm watching Wings of Liberty PvP right now. So Venge just kind of decided that he might want to attack at this point. He also does not have a way to reinforce his army in any capacity whatsoever. It seems to be a trend. However, he's just going to kind of try to go for it. I feel like his army is superior though. Whether he realizes it or not, it's gonna take his time as well. You know, this is this is also a theme of the game. Just really taking our time with killing our opponents. We don't want to we don't want to really strike with with uh, any sort of fluidity. We just kind of want to you know poke away at him for a second. He's like, hey, hey, I'm here. By the way, just just letting you know. Okay, now I'm gonna back off a little bit. All right. third base coming down behind this as well. Very nice pressure out of, out of here from Ben. Loses a voider on the tail end unfortunately though. I do love the Terran music in this PvP right now. We have a wonderful gas bank out of Ven here. Could potentially be seeing some Archons out of that. If he ever does remember that those units do exist. No, we're going to go for a second Stargate. Uh, we have not scouted the second Stargate of our opponent or the first one to in, in that case. But we did see the Void Rays from him. So we really need to make sure we can keep that Void Ray count as high as possible. Because we are playing Wings of Liberty PvP as if it was eight years ago. And that is the only thing we know how to do after our initial cheese fails. Now Tox is going to come in here, he's potentially going to scout this. Indeed he does, however he does not actually click on it. So he doesn't know what it actually is. Meanwhile though, he is going for a Twilight Council, so is Ven, so maybe he's finally going to, maybe he finally looked at his gas count for a second and realized what he could potentially use that with. Oh, it looks like Tox is also kind of doing the same thing right here. Maybe they both looked at their gas counts recently and like, you know what? Mm, this doesn't look that great. Luckily, do, I do play Protoss though, and we have a viable gas sink that we can use. Unlike any of the other two races. Look at that, I'm balance winning against my own race. You've never... I'm playing 3D chess. Nope, it's going to be a Dark Shrine instead. We're going to go Dark Shrine against the player that cannon rushed us. Very, Gemini, very high you're IQ. Cuter than me, you know? Hello, Pro. Thank you so much for the host. We're looking at Patreon replays right now. Currently of a, I believe, a Platinum game. So right up your alley. I'm sure you can really identify strongly with this one right here. Thank you so much for the, for the host, mate. So the Void Rays are continuing to be massed two at a time. Thank you. However, I, <laughs> but Ven on the other end, he got the second Stargate, but then we're just like, you know what? No, let's not with this one. I, he, he like decided way too late. And then he realized that his gas count was so high. He's like, you know what? Let me make Archons with this one instead. I, screw the double Stargate. We don't need this anymore. However, talk over here, really, uh, really going hard on this void rate, just like it was fucking 2010. Love it. Mm. 
This is a wonderful sight. <laughs> Observer Wars. I have two observers over your one, therefore I win. <laughs> Maybe eventually those will get moved over one hex. Oh, those Archon or those DTs are literally gonna walk right into the observers, are they not? Uh, uh there's cannons here though, so it's okay. He's just gonna attack into the cannons. That's totally viable. Very expertly played out of Vend. I've never seen such immaculate DD defense out of him. So at this point in time, Ven could just literally A move whenever he pleases and be completely fine. However, he doesn't want to. He could really be using these two observers here to potentially look at where the opponent's army is so that way he can then capitalize on the fact that he can outposition the opponent with his vastly superior and more mobile army with Blink. However, oh there he goes, I love finally Gemini. finds that one random no. observer sitting right there. <laughs> Sends the other observer to look on top of the cannon just in case you never really know what might get thrown at you down in these plot leaves. Plot leaves. Third base finally getting put down for Tox over here. Doesn't, hasn't used his Twilight Council for anything else other than this DT shrine that he warped three DTs into that walked right into a cannon in an army. And I believe Matt Vend is indeed going for the classic set on your fucking ass until you have 200 supply move. And indeed, that is what is happening. He's going up to 195, warping in some extra things, and then he is going to F2A across the map. But, you know, we just have to pause really quickly just to make sure that we do, in fact, have that one, that 200 out of 200. Cannot go without that one. We have a couple of units just stranded here a little bit, too. Um... All right, no, he's just gonna go with the 195. That's that's definitely uh, the, the classic timing attack. I love the 6, 1740, 195 supply. Blink Stalker, a mortal Void Ray Archon with two High Templar with Storm Army. My favorite unit composition in PvP, personally. Kills off the third base, all the probes that are sitting there as well. I'm not sure how he's gonna get through this Void Ray count though, because that is indeed substantial. Those two storms might really swing the tide for him. Oh, I'm so glad we have the nice dramatic music to go along with this as well. This is perfect. Tox, realizing that he's in a desperate position at this point, losing his third base and all the probes that were inhabiting it, puts down a smattering of shield batteries in his natural base here. Said, you know what? No, we do not need more units at this point. We have enough void rays. We need shield batteries to defend those void rays. They can't get attacked by storms, so Tox very smartly reading into the unit composition of his opponent, making something that could not be affected by a total of 16 supply. That is not the right math. You know what I mean. 12 supply? What is that? I I tried to do math. It's it's okay. Of his opponent's army. And here we have the 1A, the, Im the immaculate 1A coming up here, getting stuck on the ramp momentarily until the storms try to go down onto these void rays. A couple more going down as well, right on top of each other, so definitely utilizing the ability to stack those storms, which 100% exists. And he is then going to recall his superior army out of the fight. Once again, patience is the name of the game of this particular replay. Do not want to end our game too fast. We really want to make sure we give as many opportunities to our opponent to win as possible. Third base going down once again for Tox. Even resupplying his probe count like a wonderful macro player he is. Very, very excellent. Very excellent job over here. I really was not expecting this level of PvP memes, honestly, based off the description he gave me. I, was, I wasn't I was expecting it to be <laughs> this long, actually. 
So really, really glad to be seeing this one. Definitely some some quality stuff. We have five things. We have, does he have five? Four, what does he have on this hockey? I wish I could click it. Oh, he's got all his other tech on it. I was like, does he have five forges randomly somewhere? That'd be unreal. But no. Let me put this back because then I'll never forget to do that again. Okay. Graviton Catapult. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot. This is pre patch so we do have good carriers in this game at this point. We have the the chargeless zealot run by coming on into the third base here, going to click directly onto that nexus, eventually going to kill it. However, talks with the oh my perfect response time over here, going to be able to come over and clean up these zealots before they even get halfway through the nexus. Actually, they did way more than half. That's totally fine though. Vendithio, apparently a big fan of Zest with that play. Really trying his hardest to em emu uh, emulate those Korean pro Protoss players. Very well done. However, he decides that the, the, the 176 army that he has is definitely not enough to kill off those eight borders. Seven? I'm really doing amazing on the math front this game. Continues to want to just kind of sit back a little bit. Make sure he's at that 200 of 200 once again before going with the F2A move. Finally, now we do have charge onto these zealots, potentially going to target down this nexus and kill it. That'd be quite the feat. Going up to his fifth base as well at this point while banking his 2,000 minerals. So an excellent time to attack right now would it would be. However, again, this is... A patient game. Oh, and unbelievable timing on this uh, harassment. Right as Tox was moving out across the map. Absolutely beautiful game sense out of Vendithio over here. Gets the third base in the nick of time. Oh my goodness. What beautiful and absolutely stunning play. Probes forced to long distance mine once again as this third base gets remade for the third time this game. And at this point, Tox has said, I have had enough of this. The pressure's on to him at this point. He really thinks that he's playing against Zest of all people at this current moment. How could I possibly have been matched against such an unbelievable player? At this MMR, I cannot believe it. Fifth base is going to get cancelled. A massive blow to Vand over here. However, he realizes his opportunity. He's going to seize the moment. He's brought his entire army. The storm goes down on all the clumped void rays and the archons doing their splash damage as well. It absolutely evaporates. Oh my god. And the no GG. The no GG to finish it all off. Absolutely unbelievable play by our friendly neighborhood vend over here. Absolutely masterclass. Thank you so much for this replay submission.